We're back with six. We're going after Marco. What is it, partner? I'm ready. Brookshire's got the intel. Go see him for the details. I'll get the rest of our posse formed up. It's time to finish this. Alright. Set up for Marco. Okay, so we're gonna go see Brookshire and maybe we can... While we're also getting information on Marco... While we're also getting information on Marco, we can also get some... He, I think he has some bounties for us, so maybe he can give us some, you know, some extra ones. After we deal with Marco, we can take care of some more bad guys he has for us, right? Alright. So, uh, Mr. Brookshire... I knew he was an op. I knew it. I knew it. And why are you clapping for? You an op Breathe too. deeply, courier, and don't strain yourself. I need you alive. Fucking every bitch. Are you gonna help me move this pile of shit or what? Why? Why don't we just shoot the fucker? Brooker said not to touch this one or Randall. It's part of the deal. Fuck up, and we don't get paid. Why the fuck are we hauling them to town? When are we getting paid? Relax, Brooks said we'll get paid once business in town is settled. Here's the Brahmin. Let's load him up. Careful, one of them's coming around. Keep that hood on. Here, you should take care of him. What is the meaning of this? You have no right to detain us. Hell. Cowards! Every one of you is a fucking- Oh, how the mighty have fallen. You honestly can't be surprised that it's me, can you? Virgil is my favorite alias, given the literary roots. Your expression right now. Forgive the cliché, but it truly is priceless. If Brookshire had only known what this was worth to me. That's right. Brookshire wasn't inclined to consider the fate of the townspeople, much less you when weighed against the supply of silver. I'm not sure what your political leanings are, but if you consider yourself a patriot of the NCR, that must really, really sting. In this moment of unforeseen, inconceivable reversal, you must be thinking, how did this happen? It boils down to one simple characteristic, resolve. When you kill Sergio, I resolve to make you suffer to your last breath. Maybe you're thinking of ways to break from your bonds, disarm me, Kill the guards. Save the day. Not this time. Whatever happens next, you're going to be utterly powerless to stop me. Doesn't that just burn you up? If you didn't have that gag, I can only imagine what you might be saying. Well, I'm a cautious fellow, so I want to be safe. I can't risk any interruptions during my theatrics. Nothing is worse than a disruptive audience. Coward! Ah, right through the hands. That does look painful. You won't be opening any jars again, much less handling a weapon. Even with the pain, I wonder if you're consumed by rage, or dread. Neither benefits you, but dread suggests an honesty that I have to admire. Were you expecting a fair fight? A climactic showdown in the street? Sergio tried it that way, didn't he? My brother at heart, I'll give him that. I've never had a mind for fair fights, though I've won my share. I prefer domination, and most importantly, survival. That's all that matters. You want to speak, don't you? No doubt you have a pithy retort or some eloquent overture prepared that would convince me to throw down my arms. Not tonight. This time you'll be silent, like a dog following its owner. When this is over, you'll acknowledge me as your master. You're going to beg for death. You'll pray to God for it to end, but he won't listen. Only when you pray to me will you gain release. But that can wait. Right now I'm an official agent of the New California Republic, warden of their new outpost in Frosto. In my administration, law and order will be upheld without exception. Why not get off to a strong start here and now? <clears throat> Please, don't do this. By the powers invested in me by the New California Republic, I hereby authorize these agents of the justice system to collect unlawful bounties. That 
takes care of that. So it was done, all according to the law. Randall, Randall, Randall. You came so far only to taste the bitterness of defeat again. Deep down, you knew it would end this way. Ford, you were quite eager to betray Mr. Randall. Why don't you do the honors? You son of a bitch! Now, what are we going to do with you? I could put a round in your head, make it quick, clean. Then again, that's been tried. I don't fear failure so much as being unoriginal. No, I've got something better in mind. You ever hear of stories of drunks being buried alive? Since you're not in a position to speak, I'll take your indignant squinting as a yes. So I'll continue. When a man is buried alive in, say, a coffin, he might have thirty minutes or so to live. Trust me, I know. I've seen it firsthand. It's one heck of an interrogation technique, acting like you're burying them. I leave them down there for a bit, then pull them up. They always come up gasping. A few even lose their minds in that short span. I guess it's the darkness. And the noise. Imagine. Your breathing is strained, dust fills your mouth and eyes, and you hear the weight of earth shifting above you. It's inexorable death. That's why I saved you for last. I want you to feel that terror as you dwell on what transpired here tonight, how you were beaten. No matter how hard you are, the terror will take you eventually. In that moment, when you're wishing for it all to end, just remember. I was the one man who beat you. And that's what people will remember, what they'll say for years to come. It isn't just your body that I'm bearing tonight. It's your legend. Hey, boss, you sure you don't want me to shoot him first? No, I want the courier to suffer to the last. You hear that, friend? Of course you can, even with that hood on. Is the coffin comfy? Just so you know, I'm putting you in an unmarked grave in the middle of nowhere. From a legal standpoint, you will have simply... vanished. You're going to be just another anonymous stiff. You afraid now? Just let it wash over you. Don't fight it. You're so close to the end. I wonder how you might have molded the Mojave if you'd lived. I'm sure people will speculate to no end. They'll forget you, though. They always do. At this moment of acute reflection, I wonder if you appreciate the futility of your efforts. Your mentor is dead. Really dead. I'll face no legal or governmental consequences. Quite the contrary. I'll become a respected citizen, leaving this town while the worms gnaw on your rotting corpse. You remember that when the air thins out. If you could do it all over again, would you even come here? So much to ponder in the darkness. Rest easy. Close it up, boys. I'm alive. You emerge from a vivid nightmare. Quickly sitting up in a strange bed, you notice a familiar face across from you. Thorn. Your hands throb as you begin to shift your weight, but you eventually struggle to your feet. Your legs wobble as you stand, and it becomes painfully apparent that you haven't recovered from your recent injuries. How you manage to survive your ordeal in the grave remains to be seen. Unbelievable. Thorn. Let the dead shall rise and walk the earth.
Wasn't sure you'd make it. But here you are, on your feet no less. How did I end up here? Track Mark on his boys after what happened in town. All them aimed to bury you alive, so I watched him waiting. Marco cleared out and left a pair of men behind, so I slipped in, took them down with a flashbang and a few smacks with my baton. Then I went digging as fast as possible, found you unconscious but breathing. Lucky for you, that doc had some blood in his stores. Our plan is to get you up here in the dark. Got that blood in you, then patch you up your hands. You're damn lucky you know that. Hmm. Yeah, where'd you learn medicine? The followers of the apocalypse. I was a physician for a time, enjoyed helping people. That was all I wanted to do as a young man. But when you see good people get hurt and nothing's done, nothing changes. It can move you to action. I thought I could make things right. That's why I hunted men down for so long. It was never about money. Everyone I gunned down was a tiny piece of justice for what I'd lost. You do it for enough time, you stop seeing them as men. They're everything you hate, everything you fear, personified. Maybe I could go back to the followers, start practicing again somewhere, start over. I'm done killing though. That I could promise you. So why did you help me? I knew something was going down when Brookshire pulled us aside before the op. Told everyone there would be bounties on the townspeople. He told us to keep our mouths shut and follow Marco's lead. When the time came, most everyone nodded and smiled and didn't even question him. I had no loyalty to Randall, but it bothered me regardless. Brookshire told us to round up everyone in town that he would handle you. I didn't know what they had in store. I mean, I thought they'd capture everyone and haul them back for a trial. That's what they're supposed to do. I also didn't know that Brookshire would trade you and Randall out. I thought he would just tell you to fuck off in a typical NCR fashion. See, they had me posted at the church, waiting with a rifle, in case you tried anything. I had a clear view of everything, that's for sure. I didn't know they'd kill them all right there, but Marco killed Randall. I should have done something, but I just... Well, you would have you died it. if you did something, so... Marco was in the crosshairs, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was... I was scared. Goddamn shameful fucking coward. That's what I am. Yeah, there's no way you couldn't have done anything. You would have died immediately. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, maybe. I'll have a long while to think about that, won't I? So where's Marco? He left town to bury Randall's body. He must have thought pretty highly of him, because the rest were buried in a mass grave. When I last went into town to nab supplies, I saw most of the hunters were living it up in the saloon. Ford was with them. Look, I want to leave this place and never look back. I'm making straight for my hobby, so you're welcome to join me. Uh, no. I'm gonna kill Marco. Burning your boats on the shore, huh? Look, if this is how you want to play it, I'll respect your decision. I can't help you, but I'll wait here. You'll surprise them. They'll probably panic. Don't expect Marco to go easy, though. You're walking wounded. Won't be healed for weeks, at least. Marco won't take any chances this time. He'll kill you. I don't care. I'm gonna kill Marco. That's just a rage talking, like you're possessed by an animal. You go after Marco blinded by anger and he'll kill you all the same. <laughs> I won't stop you, but I won't leave you either. I'll wait here for a day or two. If you don't come back, I'll just assume the worst and move on. Manga, your agility, endurance, and strength has all been decreased due to injuries inflicted by Marco and all likelihood you will not recover from these wounds until you return to the Mojave Wasteland. There goes some of my skills as well. Marco is an idiot. He buried me with all this, all my stuff. Am I really over?
I'm really over encumbered. I really lost some strength. So I know they just told me that, but I should do it. This should be fun. Uh, I don't know where they went. They're just gone. Holy shit! Oh, it's about to blow. Not good. Let's try that again. I guess I could go back to the mob and get my friends. No, let's, we gotta do this on ourselves. There's no way I can possibly get through this. Is that Ford? Don't go through the key. What? Okay, Ford. Really? Ford nearly broke my game. I had to use console commands to move him to me. So now I'm, I was going to kill him in some crazy way, but before he bugs out again. Just kill him like that. Let's read our offer. Thank you for coming forward and arranging our meeting. I understand your frustration with Mr. Randall, who has never taken you seriously as a bounty hunter. If you're willing to assist the NCR in pacifying frauds, this is why I can't roll with the NCR because the people like Brookshire. I personally recommend you a leadership position. You will soon have the digni dignity and defiance that was so... <sighs> that was denied by Randall for so long. The man has been bullied. Whatever. Okay, now... Who here has... Go after somebody here. Is it Ford? Ford come in developments? Who else is in here? Or in there? Or what else I should say? Wow, he got plastered to the wall. Okay, missed. Uh, thank you for coming forward and arranging... No, this one. I'm going to bury Randall myself, so I'm counting on you to keep that crew under control until the other half a push out of gets here. They can cut loose for a few days. But yeah, everybody here is dead. So he's at the graveyard. I'm 
I am about to put Marco down. And he killed Randall. Well, four killed Randall, but Marco is the one who hadn't killed. And when I get back to the Mojave, I'm going to kill Brookshire, too. For the whole thing that's gone down. Everybody who is involved in this, that's, that's alive, is dying. Thorn, he helped me out even though he was sorta of involved. He just didn't go down with it. I knew he wanted to do something poetic. Well, it's very poetic of me to be buried alive and then come back. But this is definitely poetic justice. I know I'm. Uh, let's see. Make sure we're. Sweet revenge. How in the... I should have known. I deliberately provided simple instructions, yet people can't manage if I'm not supervising. I do hate leadership at times. There's no way you can be healed up. Why even come here? You can't win this fight. You're broken and alone. You lost. You could have walked out of this canyon and I'd never have given you a second thought. Apparently, I'm just not good at vengeance. You killed my brother, so I maimed and humiliated you, then slaughtered a town and forced you to watch. That's more or less even, right? I know you're anxious to spew some venomous diatribe, but permit me a moment. Let's say that a miracle occurs and you kill me. You limp back to the Mojave with a broken body, your myth shattered. People will only remember your feelings. They're just lousy that I way. don't care. They won't talk about how you killed me. They'll mock you for getting captured and allowing the town to get butchered. I don't care. You had a good thing in the Mojave. You should have stayed there. Quite a stage we have here, huh? Audience of dead men. Go ahead. Tell me how I'm destined for the infernal reaches or all manner of mutilation. I don't care. I'm sure it will be very bold and original. Yeah, I, I don't care about anything you're saying. I'm just going to kill you. Oh, how sentimental of you. Using Randall's old piece. I knew I shouldn't have buried that stuff with you. Very careless. You know, I've also got a revolver that I've used over the years. I call it Old Scratch. Not sure exactly what inspired the name. It just stuck. I'm normally not keen on religion, but sometimes I think this old Roscoe has a hunger for souls. Crazy, right? So it's your Remington versus old Scratch. Sounds like a pre-war monster movie. Wouldn't it be ironic if that's all that people remembered? I don't Pardon care what me, people I'm remember. I just so want to kill you. These moments, but the tension is just invigorating. <sighs> It's time. Why are you even trying? Too easy. Too easy. All right, we're going to get back to the thorn and see if we can get back home. All right. 
Marco is dead. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. You did it. You actually did it. I didn't expect to see you again. I was here thinking how I'd break it to your people back in Vegas. Skip the slideshow. Scar. Though you recovered during the trip, your hands are not permanently scarred from gunshot wounds. As a result, your rate of fire and draw speed will suffer, but you'll deal more damage. Having avenged Randall, you will now deal additional damage with sweet revenge. Better angels. It's the second battle of Hoover Dam looms large. Rumors of war abound uh, that a great slave revolt has been quelled in Arizona, prompting hordes of runaway slaves to flee for the Colorado River and a sizable Legion army in pursuit. Ooh, we better get on that. Yeah, we better get on that. Guess I'm gonna head back home. Where am I? 